Today, we'll be talking about one of our favorite dive watches, the Tudor Black Bay. Introduced in 2012, the Black Bay collection is inspired by Tudor's iconic Submariner watch from the 1950s. Specifically, the Tudor Submariner reference 7922. Nowadays, the Tudor Black Bay collection has more than a dozen variations, ranging from simple time-only versions to high-complications chronographs. Among its exciting models is this new Black Bay in a striking dual tone of gold and steel. The brand new Tudor Black Bay Chrono SNG celebrates its similarities with the Tudor Heritage Black Bay steel, but with a new gilded outlook. This move was actually not surprising, given that bicolor timepieces are a key trend in 2019. It was high time for Tudor to keep up with a dual tone mania. And I'm sure everybody will agree that the brand has certainly aced the trend with a steel and gold creation. The timepiece and its new look features striking embellishments in the 18 karat yellow gold case with the bezel, the pushers, and the first link of the bracelet shining like the Midas touch. For Rolex followers, the timepiece will resonate with the look and feel of the John Player Special or the Paul Newman Daytona. This is most especially with the design aesthetics in terms of the gilded subdials resting on a classic chic black dial. However, these preceding timepieces are mere inspiration. The edgy tone of gold and steel was a comprehensive attempt by Tudor to give its Black Bay line an upgrade and a touch of royalty. And as you can see, it has worked quite well. The golden winding crown allows one to manually set the time and date. It is screwed down onto the case to ensure it stays safe and highly water resistant. The black dial also features a date window at 6 o'clock, a perfect spot for it as it balances the aesthetics of the dial. The watch is fixed with a tachymeter scale engraved on its bezel, fronting the chronograph function. Of course, the pushers on both sides of the gilded winding crown, which allow the wearer to take charge of starting and stopping the chronograph, are also in gold. Its steel and gold bracelet with a folding clasp certainly adds to the sophistication of the design, and its dual tone theme helps break the monotony that sometimes befalls the all gold or all steel look of some watches. If there's any particular watch or collection you want us to review in the future, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our videos. Thanks for watching.